Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome to another video session from Kimi Biology. And uh, if you remember in the previous video lecture, we talked about the our view of the antiviral drugs. And actually, uh, in our view, we mainly talked the those component that which the drugs affected means, for example, protein and coating. The drugs affected the uh, uh, the spikes proteins and all of the things. Fine. Now this is the second video regarded with the antiviral drugs and in this video we and in this video lecture we are going to talk about the membrane fusion inhibitor. The drugs which are involved in the membrane fusion inhibitor, the mechanism of action of these drugs and uh, the resistance which are occurring uh, against these drugs and the adverse effect or the side effect of these drugs also. Fine. So now let me write. So let me write membrane in short form we write m f i what does it mean it means membrane fusion inhibitor fine and the drugs which are used in the membrane fusion inhibitor are called as infuvertide infuvertide so the drugs which are mainly used in the membrane fusion inhibitor we call that infuvertide. Now what are the mechanism of uh, these drugs and the resistance against these drugs? First of all, the, let me talk the broad spectrum means the antimicrobial spectrum that uh, these drugs are active against which kind of viruses. So these drugs is eff effective and show best result. Uh, this, uh, these drugs will show good effect against uh, HIV strain 1 against this uh, virus infovertide can show better result best result fine so infovertide we can use these drugs against the HIV as uh, strain 1 fine now uh, let me uh, talk about uh, its uh, mechanism of action that how these drugs uh, can affect uh, the viruses uh, so now before going to explain these drugs you need to understand the life cycle of the uh, HIV or retrovirus replication. First of all you need to understand this once you get the idea about that then uh, HIV virus uh, then the, the, this mechanism of action of the drugs will be very easy for your understanding. Now what happened? Let's suppose this is the enveloped area. Fine. And uh, this is the capsid area inside the capsid area there are the genetic material I am not drawing the structure uh, completely because I already discussed this structure but uh, just I am drawing here in a rough form that what actually happened that uh, on what side the drug can affect now within this envelope area there are the spikes protein are arises these are the spike proteins and uh, we also call it glycoprotein and it is made up of uh, two glycoproteins so let me write these name now uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, uh, whenever I, I, I was preparing the topic of HIV or uh, life cycle so I do one mistake uh, so sorry for that actually if you uh, if you remember i write here that this one is gp140 mean this a blue area i write that it is gp140 but actually it is not gp140 it is gp41 fine so sorry for that it is gp41 it is not gp140 fine so sorry for that uh, and uh, remove this from your mind okay it is actually gp41 and this black one area is gp1 20 fine so let me draw the host uh, mem cell membrane also here so it usually affect the T lymphocyte as I told you let's suppose this is the host cell this is the receptor of the host and we call it CCR5 receptor CCR5 receptor these CCR5 receptor are we can call it is co-receptors. Now what happened in this case? 
try to understand the concept. What happened? This, first of all, this GP120 will recognize this CCR5. Once the recognition is done by this GP120, then what happened? Then this GP41 will unfold it. This GP41 will unfold it. Now after that, uh, once this GP1 unfolded, uh, then this, the virus will easily be internalized. Means they will internalize their capsid area. So if I explain this again, let's suppose this area, means this GP120 are now fully uh, out from the, uh, means this GP120 are now recognized and disappear. Then this area, means this GP120, what happened in this case, this will just like in this form. Fine. Mean they are in folded form, but after that they will unfold their self. Mean this area will unfold it and they will embed it, their terminal side into host membrane by which it will internalize the whole cell and internalize the capsid area. So this is called membrane fusion. Fine. So now what the drugs actually do? The drug structure, if I draw the structure of the drugs, the structure of the drugs will be just look like in this form. In this form, fine. So this is the drugs, we call it info veritide. These drugs come here and bind to that GP140. Now once the drugs recognize this GP140, so what happened? Let's suppose this GP140 are now in folded form and here the drugs are bind so it is very difficult let's suppose the gp120 are recognized but due to the presence of this inferioritite drugs the gp1 the gp41 will not be unfolded because the drugs already block it so once it is not unfolded so how it will be internalized so the viruses will not internalize and the viruses will remain outside of the host cell uh, of the host cell means uh, t4 uh, t4 cell or we can say t lymphocyte cell fine so this is the mechanism of action of these drugs now the resistance if you talk the resistance so the resistance against these drugs are very rare not occur the resistor means the resistance in this case are not occur but if we talk the resistance property so what happened this site means this gp41 will be altered and let's suppose uh, you better know that protein is made up of amino acid so let's suppose this gp41 is made up of uh, amino acid and we call that uh, glu glucine let's suppose glucane and we call iso leucine fine and uh, leucine trip tryptophan let's suppose these are the uh, amino acid Due to, let's suppose, okay, due to which the GP41 are made. And due to these amino acids, the drugs will recognize. But if the sequences or the amino acid which are not present in GP41, so the drugs will be not affected. So they will eliminate the drugs and the drugs will not activate it here. Fine. So this is the mechanism of action and this is the resistance. Now, let me uh, uh, tell me some other important thing uh, about the, and, uh, the uh, membrane fusion inhibitor. That if still we are giving these drugs, uh, as you better know that, that the virus will show resistance against these drugs. But still if you are giving these drugs, so these drugs have some side effect also. Now, let me uh, write some side effects. So, these drugs have also some side effect. And what are these side effects? These side effects are first one we call it skin rashes. Second we call that xenophilia. Xenophilia. These uh, drugs are actually affected on that area and that's why uh, if these area are not uh, recognized uh, means the virus show resistance so definitely the viruses will lose uh, means definitely the viruses will 
cause destruction of the eosinophilia. So there uh, means eosinophil. They will cause the destruction of eosinophil. So that's why eosinophilia will occur. So these are the side effect of uh, in in, in few And uh, in the next video, we will talk to the protein uncoating means protein uncoating inhibitor their mechanism of action and the drugs which are involved in protein uncoating inhibitor fine their resistance which are activated against the protein uncoating inhibitor the side effect of these drugs and so in the next video we are going to talk about these drugs so stay tuned and continue to watch thank you so much